This video is designed for those with little or no experience with Moodle. So what is Moodle? Moodle is a learning management system. It is essentially a website that allows you to easily upload text and files that students can access to make your job as the teacher and your students learning experience even better than it currently is. When we use the term Moodle, we sometimes refer to the software that is Moodle, in other words, the learning management system that we have been using at Oxford Falls. But also the term Moodle can refer to one particular course. For example, my year seven English Moodle is synonymous with my year seven English online course. If you are new to Moodle, then there is a fair chance you are wondering why. Why are we moving to Moodle? What's the big deal? What's all the excitement about? Are we just doing this because other schools are doing it? Is this just a cycle that's going to pass? Well, maybe you are aware of some reasons for Moodle, but you are not yet convinced. These are vital questions to have answered. After all, you need to see good reasons for using Moodle in order for Moodle to work for you. The Oxford Falls Executive, along with the ICT Leadership Committee, are convinced that using Moodle well can potentially greatly improve the effectiveness of any teacher. And that even includes those who are already considered to be quality teachers. But more of that later. Moodle allows you, the teacher, to upload any document or file for students to access at any time they choose. This includes assessment grids, assignment information, worksheets, past examinations, music files, videos, in fact, absolutely any sort of file or document to which you want your students to have access. As a result, you no longer have to be concerned about student absences and about which students did not get the latest worksheet, assignment or other information, or that, miss, the dog ate my worksheet. Let's now check out some examples of how teachers have been delivering files to students using Moodle. Let's have a look at one of Steve Payne's courses, Design and Tech. We're looking for, for how he's using uh, the upload of files to his advantage. And so in here, drawing worksheet one, that's obviously a resource that his students use. And you can see, so each of these is um, a, a file that students can access. And obviously because they're in his class, they know exactly what all this means. Now remember, this is not about creating anything new. You already have these files created. You already hand them out to students. Moodle is simply about making your existing resources available to students whenever they need them. It's about making your job easier, and importantly, it's about allowing students more responsibility. Of course, your documents need to be in soft copy version. If a resource is only in hard copy, you can simply scan it on the photocopier and then upload the PDF. If, after learning a skill and implementing it, you find that the skill isn't really helping your teaching, then please come and talk to us. There is every reason why implementing these skills should change your teaching world significantly for the better. And if that's not happening, then we, the ICT team, need to do our job better. Moodle also allows you to easily create links to your favourite educational websites. This means that rather than students having to navigate to your websites using the address bar or using Google, they simply click a link on the Moodle and are taken directly to the page. Let's assume this is a, um, a course for students. And here's an I'm teaching a unit on history of Egypt. And uh, so I want students to go to Wikipedia. I've just uploaded that link. The students click the link and are taken straight to the Wikipedia page. It just makes it for a more efficient navigating or I might have wanted to take them directly to to that particular page I can direct them anywhere I like but the important thing is that they are directed there from a link forums are a great way to allow students to share their ideas here's an example from Dale Drain's year 10 drama Moodle from last year in this Moodle Dale had groups collaborating on various things. If we go into the drama group forum, we can see different uh, posts that different students have put up there. This is one that, uh, that Dale created, a, a general discussion forum, and different students put up different um, issues. 
And if we go back, there's another forum down here for concept development. So you can structure these any way you like. It's important to note that forums can be created so as that the entire class talk to each other, or you can have forums designed just for pairs or for small groups. You'll learn more about the forum option from session three. Moodle allows you to deliver an assignment to students. You can then either have students submit the assignment to you conventionally, or they can submit the assignment via the Moodle. The latter option eliminates any possibility of lost assignments or students saying, but I handed it in when in fact they didn't. Or dare I say, it was handed in, but the school dog ate it. If we go back to one of Steve Payne's Year 7 D&T Moodles, um, down the bottom here we can see a sushi board folio submission. So there's some information there. When students click on that, there's a whole lot of information inside that link, and then they can submit their assignment here. There's no file submitted as yet, but uh, that's a very nice way of doing it. If we pretend we are Steve Payne, the teacher, and we want to go into his assignment area, we can click on the assignment button. Now remember this is Moodle 1.9, but the same features apply to Moodle 2, only Moodle 2 is slightly better. Um, we can click on the assignment area, all his assignments are in here, we can view this ro robotics folio submission, 13 assignments, and each student is allocated a particular slot there, so we can see the time and date it was uploaded, and Steve can uh, download the files, etc, etc, and he can comment on these if he wants to. Very cool stuff. The quiz facility is a favourite among many teachers in schools. You create a bank of questions and then select some of them for a particular quiz. Quizzes can be excellent as lesson starters and also for ongoing revision. Some teachers create a whole year's worth of questions at the start of the year and then create a quick quiz from the question bank before any given lesson. And new questions can be added at any time. There was no marking involved. Not that a self-marking quiz would interest you, of course. And students are given instant feedback. The available options within the quiz module allow for lots of flexibility, and you'll learn how to create quizzes in Term 4. If you were unconvinced in regard to Moodle before watching this video, hopefully you will have recognised some of the advantages by now. Yes, if you consider yourself lacking in confidence with technology, you might be thinking this is all a bit much, but remember we'll be giving you lots of necessary support, so there's no need to panic about that one. And sure, you might have questions about how you will use Moodle in your particular subject, but in principle, we have shown you some pretty convincing advantages, I think at least. Some other advantages are that parents can have a closer look via their child's login at the work being done in class and can therefore be of greater support. Also, the more that your class work is placed on the Moodle, the less of an issue it is when students are absent students can still do the work from home. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the overview. Good luck with the skills tutorials. We hope you enjoy the journey. And remember, if you are having trouble with any of the skills, or if you're having trouble seeing the benefit of a particular school, then please come and talk to us. It might, heaven forbid, simply be that we haven't explained things sufficiently well for you. And importantly, have fun.